Good morning and thank you so much for joining me on this peaceful morning here at Pilot Mountain State Park. And so I decided for this week's video to revisit um, the Grindstone Trail where the forest fire had came through back at the end of November. And I had actually came out here about three weeks after that forest fire and filmed a video because uh, it was a really foggy morning and it was very eerie and stuff. And so I decided I wanted to come back and see what things are looking like here in the spring. How is the forest recovering from that forest fire? And just to do a little bit of photography and stuff to kind of maybe document a little bit of the changes within the forest after the forest fire. So we are just starting off on this trail and I'm already seeing some new growth in life on the forest floor, which is nice to see um, some irises um, that are just kind of poking through and getting ready to bloom and stuff. The birds are kind of going crazy this morning. I see, that's not a robin, is it an, I don't know what kind of bird this is. It's, and I don't have my long zoom lens to <laughs> take a photo of it, but it's black and it has like an orange body with a little bit of white. So at first I thought it was a robin, but it's not a robin. So I'll have to check on that one. I don't know that particular bird. But anyway, sorry, momentary distraction of birds. Um, but yeah, so we're just gonna kind of explore the trail to just kind of see what it looks like, see how things are recovering and take some photos. So I have no idea what kind of photos I'll take, what, how good these photos will be today, but that's okay. Cause I'm just getting outside, exploring, seeing how the growth is looking in the forest floor. So without further delay, let's uh, get this hike going. So we are over here now in the Three Bears Gully area, which is where some of the, or at least when I was out here the last time was really badly burnt. Um, this was kind of probably the big burn scar area. And um, we're right now, we're just kind of on the overlook. You can kind of see the trail that kind of goes down. This is a very popular rock climbing area. It's one of the rock climbing areas, I guess, of Pilot Mountain and stuff. So. I did see some rock climbers heading out this direction when I pulled into the parking lot. So um, make sure that I'd be respectful and quiet when I get down to that area. But what I thought I would try to do is there was some def definitely unique um, trees that I had come across along the way that I had taken photos of. And so I'm going to try to find some of those same trees to kind of give a comparison of what it looked like back in December when I photographed them and then what they look like right now. Um, there was one that was back up on the trail that I had already taken and I forgot to film um, that particular tree, but I got snapped some photos, so we'll make sure I do a comparison with those, which you probably have already seen the comparison, but if, I have, if you haven't, I'll get ready to show it now. Um, but, but yeah, so there's some, some distinctive shape of trees and stuff, so I'll see if I can't try to find them again. They were right along the pathway, so it shouldn't be too difficult and stuff, but um, we'll try to just do a little comparison of what it looked like then and what it looks like now. Obviously, the weather conditions are completely different. It was rainy, it was foggy. Um, today is just a beautiful spring morning and lots of birds chirping and some other people out here enjoying mother nature. So yeah, so we're just gonna head back, scurry back over that way and go down the steps, which are just right down below me. And we'll just kind of meander through and take some photos along the way.
So this is probably one of the things that's just made me the happiest so far. And that is this pine tree that's right over here. And there is, there's fresh like pine needle growth on it. And so this is one that is, was here within the, you know, kind of in the thick of the fire and stuff. And so um, this tree's still alive and it has fresh little pine needles growth. And that just, that just kind of makes my morning. That's kind of exciting. So, oh, I'm gonna snap a photo of it. I have no idea how well it will look or composition wise, but just gonna have to snap a photo for myself. Okay, so I've been just kind of mulling, poking around down here at the Three Barrows Goalie, and I was looking at some of these these baby pine trees that were saved, you know, they didn't get burnt or anything in the forest fire, and I noticed this really interesting um, growths on these trees, which if you followed my any of my other videos in the past, you may know that it is called a burl, and so that's what happens when there is like, um, there's like a wound or some type of damage to the tree in that particular area. And then a whole bunch of like, you know, the cells from the plant go and then they kind of like f form a wound, a scar over the wound and stuff. And so I just thought these were really, really cool because one of them has, you know, been healed for a little bit longer than the other one. I mean, it almost looks like a, what I would imagine a brain would look like. like yeah. And stuff with this orange. And so it's just really, really interesting looking with that color and a little bit of bark so um i feel like that was probably a new one um, i have no idea but i just thought that was really cool and so i snapped a couple pictures and stuff of these two um burls on this um this young pine tree so we're gonna just kind of keep meandering around finding signs of spring throughout the forest that's recovering and um, a whole bunch of rock climbers have been piling in to the Three Bears Goalie area, so we'll see how much longer um, I have. And interesting enough, I was just sitting here talking and I looked over and there's another burl that's just like this orange one right here. So I'm gonna go over, <laughs> just over there. This is why people, if you're out and you're taking photos of nature or you're just out exploring nature, it it makes sense, It it's worth your time to, slow down every once in a while and just stay where you're at and just kind of poke around and looking down low and looking up high looking um from different angles because it's really kind of amazing what you can find when you aren't just looking straight ahead so i'm gonna kind of just keep meandering around go check out that other burl that i see across the way and oh my god and there's another one right here too holy smokes they're like everywhere so I'm gonna go with, these are probably from the forest fire since they're all around the exact same heights that I'm gonna go with, they're probably from the fire. So, um, and that I guess is what the beginning stages of a burl looks like. So anyways, we're just gonna keep meandering. I'm gonna go find some more burls apparently. So we are on my way back up to my car. So I thought I would go ahead and wrap up this week's video. And 
I'm not walking at this moment because it's all back uphill and I don't want to run out of breath. So um, thank you guys so much for joining me for this week's video. I don't know how well the photos that I took today came out. Um, there's some that look okay on the back of my camera, but we'll see what some editing does. But um, it was still just really nice to get out and see how the forest has changed and to see the fresh signs of growth and everything um, that's kind of occurring in mid-April up here at Pilot Mountain. So I think what I'll do is probably come back in June just to kind of further see how it's changing and how it's recovering because I think that'll be kind of fun to document document it throughout the rest of this year. So anyways, if you like this video or my photos, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, I hope that you do so you can continue to come along on my photography adventures with me. So anyways, you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. We'll see you guys next week. Take care. Bye.